So in the previous video, we have talked about the pros and cons of starting your personal brand website. And I've also shared with you several methods to buy your personal brand domain name, even if someone else has acquired your first and last name.com. If you have missed that video, the link is in the description or right here. Today, in this video, I will walk you through step by step on how to set up your personal brand website and make it go live. If you are totally new to building a website, then know that for the website to be fully functional, it needs two things. Number one, your domain name, which is what you have bought, like for example, jackchow.com. And the second thing you need is a web post. Let me make it simple for you to understand in case you are a beginner. Just imagine this, you are the domain name and a web host is your home. You need a house to keep your belongings, your furniture, your assets, your everything. And similarly, a domain name needs a place to keep its web design, JavaScript, CSS, and all those mumbo jumbo stuff for it to be fully functional. I hope this analogy is simple enough for you. Now, if you are going to build a personal brand website, it is going to cost some money. It is inevitable. But of course, you don't want to be spending thousands of dollars a year running your website. So what I'll be sharing with you are the best bang for the buck setups to run your entire personal brand business. I will walk you through the most basic setup if you're on a budget to the most advanced setup that does not cost anything more than $100 a month. And we will talk more about that towards the end of the video, so stick around. And in case this is the first video you're watching on this channel, do know that this video is part of the Start Your Personal Brand website video series that I'm building up. I'm hoping to make this video series like a full course on personal branding and of course, this is all for free for you if you subscribe to the channel. So subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Also, you should be able to see the entire course plan or the video series in the description as well. And whenever there's a new video published, I will include the links accordingly. But now I want to focus on the most important thing of your website to make it go live and which is the web hosting. I've tried many web hosting services over the years from what seems to be the cheapest like HostGator or Bluehost to the higher tiers like WPX hosting. Now I don't want to go too deep into the details of those hosting platforms. So I will share with you the hosting service that I've used for a very long time because of the speed, reliability, support, transparency, and the price. Name of the web host is SiteGround. And if you want a 60% discount on web host, you can use the link in the description. And once you've clicked on the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Basically, what we are gonna do is to set up a WordPress website. And WordPress is not only for blogs. There are many big company websites like Disney, BBC, Star Wars, and all these big company websites, they are all made with WordPress because it's an amazing content management system that is free. But if you are new to this, don't be intimidated as I'm gonna walk you through every step of the way to build it up. By the end of this video series, I promise you will have a good knowledge about WordPress. Now, in the previous video, I've just bought a domain name, jacktowtv.com and I'll be connecting that domain to SiteGround and I'm gonna show you the entire process of me getting a completely new SiteGround account and hosting the domain name on that account. And I will also show you the initial steps of setting up WordPress on your website. So if you have bought a domain from the previous video, then you might want to follow along as well. So if you click on the link in the description, which is my affiliate link, full disclosure, if you use that link, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. I recommend choosing this grow big plan because of this important speed boosting plugin. So when people visit your site, you want your website to load as fast as possible. And if it loads very slow, Slowly, people will leave. Now, don't worry too much of this 20 gig web space. Even if you run a big website, you won't use as much as 20 gig web space. And 25,000 visits monthly, this is just a gauge. So don't worry too much about that. So I'll get this plan. And this is very important. You have to select this. I already have a domain because yesterday I bought jackchildtv.com. If you select this, register a new domain, you're basically paying extra money. So please select this and I'll type in jackchildtv.com proceed I'll create a new account now over here you gotta make some changes like for example if your target audience is in Singapore you need to change this to Asia or Singapore or if you're in Philippines or uh, Hong Kong or anywhere in Asia, please select Singapore because if your target audience are from Asia and your web host is in the US, it will load slower. So you gotta be strategic about this. So for my case, my target audience are mainly in the US. So I'll select US. You don't need this, so don't check this. And you have to check on this checkbox. Don't exactly need this, pay now. 
So beware of this. It says that if you don't verify this process, your hosting account will be suspended. So it's best that you verify through your phone immediately. And it's done. Now this part is important because it will take some time before you receive an email from them. You receive a couple of emails but the last email that you will receive is the domain name server which you need to connect your domain name to the web hosting. So it says over here that they will be sending you all the guidelines and everything in the next hour so you gotta wait for it. And in just a while I'll show you what kind of emails you should be expecting. But for now let's proceed to the customer area. And here we are. So let's do a quick setup. I will start a new website and then I will select WordPress. And then you want to skip this step, click on skip and create empty site. And then don't do anything here, just click finish. And you'll be creating a WordPress website for you on the back end. And there you have it. In the web hosting, they have already installed WordPress on the back end. And now all you need to do is to connect your domain name, which is jackchildtv.com to the web host. And what you need is these two domain name servers over here. I will show you how you're going to connect both of them together. Remember just now what I said about the emails that they will send within an hour. What we basically need are these two domain name servers over here. Otherwise, nothing can be done. So now let's go to Namecheap. So here we are on Namecheap and in the previous video, I showed you how I bought jackchowtv.com and if you have missed that video, the link is in the description. So if you have followed the process, you should have an account with them. So I'll need to sign in, proceed to login. And over here, this is our website. We wanna click on manage and then scroll down to name servers over here. You wanna select this and select custom DNS. DNS is domain name servers. So now let's go back to SiteGround and grab the information. So this is the first domain name server. Copy this link or you can do control C and then go back to Namecheap, paste it here and then go back to SiteGround again. Copy the second domain name server then go back to Namecheap, put it here, and then put the tick over here. And then you can see that domain name server update may take about 48 hours to take effect. But most of the time, within five minutes or 10 minutes, it should be able to propagate already for a new site. So now let's test this out. I'll copy jackchildtv.com. I'll go to a browser. You see that your domain name is actually pointing to SiteGround and this is SiteGround's design and this is how you know you are doing the right thing. So we'll go back to SiteGround and then click on Websites over here and then click on Site Tools and then next you want to click on WordPress over here and Install and Manage. And as you can see over here, WordPress is not installed on the website yet so that's why you are seeing this. So now let's go back to SiteGround, select WordPress, and now I'll create a username, password, and email, and click on install. And once it's installed, let's go to admin panel, and I will select exit. And now we are in the WordPress dashboard, which is your website's back office. And let's check out how the website looks right now. Let's refresh this. And as you can see, WordPress is installed. This is the default theme that SiteGround has installed for you. Now the next thing we need to do is to install your SSL certificate. As you can see over here, if you scroll to the top, you see that your website is not secured and this is not something we want. Because have you experienced this when you visit a website that do not have this SSL certificate, the web browser actually prompts you with an error saying that the website is not secured. And if your website runs into that problem, you will lose a lot of visitors. So you need to install your SSL certificate so that 
over here this will be secure and you won't run into any of these security issues for your visitors so now let's go back to site ground and what we need to do is to select security and then ssl manager so the plan that i purchased comes with a free ssl so i will select let's encrypt and get and we are done let's check this out configure https this is what you need to do later we'll get back to this so back to site tools the next thing you need to do is to select https enforce you need to flip this switch so that whenever someone goes to the web browser and search for jackchowtv.com it immediately redirects people to https instead of http and this is what this switch is about and that is done and the next step is you need to go into your wordpress dashboard so let's go there and then we'll go to sg optimizer this is the plugin by siteground this plugin will be installed on all websites hosted on siteground this plugin will help you improve the speed of your website so let's go there hmm, i need to log in and then under environment optimization you want to enable https confirm and that's basically how you install SSL and configure it now let's test it out we go to a browser and we just search for jackchildtv.com let's see if it redirects us to HTTP or HTTPS if it's HTTP we'll see something like what we saw just now the lock with a slash and if it's HTTPS which means your website is secured you'll see a lock so let's check it out Let's hit enter. And now we see that we have a lock here. Connection secured. So your SSL is installed properly. All right, so what we have done to this stage is we have connected a domain name to a web host, installed WordPress, set up a WordPress user, installed SSL, and actually we have covered quite a lot already. And it doesn't seem like it's very easy, but if you follow along, it's actually quite simple. Now, don't worry so much about the design right now. We'll get into that as we move along this video series. Now, before we move forward to design the website, let's talk about the cost structure of running your personal brand website as i've said earlier in this video it costs some money to run a website but not more than a thousand dollars a year in fact there are a few options for you from the most basic setup to the most advanced and now we will talk about that it is important that you know the cost structure before you move forward so that you won't be surprised later on i want to make this as transparent as possible so you know that there isn't any hidden cost as you go along this video series now for the sake of comparison so that you know the exact amount you are saving let's call compare the setups to ClickFunnels. I'm sure you heard of ClickFunnels, right? It's a drag and drop page builder focused on creating a customer's experience through multiple web pages. I've brought ClickFunnels up because many people have been using it to build their personal brand website and many people couldn't keep up with the cost. It costs 1,100 and dollars per year for the most basic plan and with this plan you still need a third-party software to collect email leads and do autoresponder if you don't know what autoresponder is it is a tool for you to send a series of emails to your subscribers automatically and if you want an in-house autoresponder and maybe you want to create an online course and sell it you can have all these tools with click funnels for three thousand five hundred and sixty four dollars per year so i have five setups i want to share with you but let's start with the most basic and cheaper setup this is suitable for you if you do do not intend to make your personal brand website like a funnel to collect leads or make any sales you're basically using this site to elevate your status maybe you want to stand out as a candidate for employment showcase your portfolio maybe make yourself more credible as a freelancer so these are the most basic stuff you need a domain name which is given a web host as well as a domain email management system just like the one google offers called g suite which costs five dollars per month for one domain this service that i'm using costs only twelve dollars per year one dollar per month to manage 10 domain emails with a domain email it would definitely make you more professional so this will cost about 140 dollars per year which is 11.75 per month the next setup is close to the setup i have but it is not speed focused but it will do just fine it is a setup for you to create funnels have an 
autoresponder, just like what you can get with the most expensive ClickFunnels plan, but without the function of selling an online course. You can host as many free online courses as you want with my setup, but you can't sell it. So here is the setup. We have the domain name, web hosting, domain email management system, plus the page and funnel builder plugin, and the email autoresponder. This entire setup is around $548, which is about $45.75 per month. Honestly, this setup provides you with all the things you need already. But personally, I'm a website speed junkie. I like to see my websites having 90 plus rating on Google PageSpeed Insights. So for the next setup, which is my recommended setup, I've added a premium WordPress plugin that is super lightweight. In the previous setup, you can probably get around 60 to 70 plus rating on Google PageSpeed Insights. But with this little change, you can get around 90 plus rating. So with this setup, it costs about $598 per year, which is $49.90 per month. This is almost half the price of the cheapest ClickFunnels plan, but you get a lot more. Now, the next setup is my current setup. It is for people who are really, really crazy about site speed. And honestly, there is a much price difference. I've only added a premium web caching plugin, which costs around $49 per year. And this makes up to about $647 a year, which is $53.99 per month. Now, if you intend to host and sell an online course, then the setup I recommend is this. The rest are similar, but the autoresponder is more expensive. It is a different autoresponder service, but it works well with the learning management system I recommend. This setup makes up to about $925, which is $77.16 per month. So even with the most costly setup I have, it is still cheaper than the most basic ClickFunnels plan, and it functions just like the most expensive ClickFunnels plan. So across the entire personal brand website video series, I will be focusing only on the setup that I'm currently having because I'm using my website as a means to capture leads and I focus heavily on site speed. But as you know, if you're not a speed junkie like me, but you still need to collect leads, then this is a setup I recommend without a speed caching plugin. Now that you have all the core structure in mind, in the next video in this series, we'll be talking about the team and plugins to install, the important pages to create, and by the end of the next video, we should have a framework of a professionally looking website. And following the next video, we'll be going into building your personal brand identity. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so so that you'll get notified of new videos coming out from this series. Anyway, I hope that you're following along to create your personal brand website. If you have enjoyed your video so far, please give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're confused on any parts of this video, please feel free to ask your questions in the comment section. Now, if the next video is up, I will post the video on the right. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.